are here on behalf of KTK Ghana. And uh, we are a group of students from Ghana Institute of Journalism. Every year, we locate places like this and we come and donate books and clothes to them. Today, we are here with uh, about 1,500 exercise books. And also, we have uh, some shoes, bags, and clothes for the kids and the community people. KTK Ghana has embarked on several humanitarian trips aimed at supporting the less privileged in society. The group is made up of young volunteers from mostly Ghana Institute of Journalism. Its main objective includes providing a platform for students to engage in the practical aspect of study through annual outreaches and being a mad piece to deprive communities. On Tuesday, 23rd May 2017, the volunteers set out to the Volta region of Ghana to share their kindness. The following day, they visited two schools, Achia Klobo MA Basic School and Akachia Bopo Basic School. Both schools are located in the Kleko West District. They first visited Achia Klobo MA Basic School located in the Dodo Copper constituency. The assembly member of the community, Mr. Edward Bertie, welcomed them on behalf of the school and introduced them to the staff. The volunteers interacted with some of the pupils, asking questions about their studies and personal lives. Most of the people have difficulty expressing themselves in English. This compels their teachers to use their local language in order to explain some of their lessons. Okay, it's actually a, a practical in the science. Something like activities, activities in the book. Yeah, activities in the book. Yeah, yeah, kind of thing. So they learned it from the science book actually. And they did it themselves. The school also lacks safe drinking water. The people rely on this structure that they built, following directions from their science textbook, to get easy access to drinking water. Mr. Jacob Nosunuki is the headmaster of the school. He spoke about some of the challenges confronting the school. The main problems are the, the classroom problems. So wow. the yes, as it, as it, uh, that is the main problem. For, for now, I'm also not having office if they can because with the plastic chairs or at least table and chairs for the school and the, the third one will be the water problem. They can replace with water problem, and then if any NGO can help us with maybe these story books mm -hmm. that is by building library for us. And we also need a computer lab because we are teaching ICT and we don't have any computer here. Yeah, yeah, computer is a practical yeah. survey, the children have to touch and fill the, the system. My name is Ada Messi. I am the head of kindergarten department. We have a lot of problems because the kids are many and even the furniture, the furniture are not up to their numbers. At times, some people, some of some people, they drop out of the school. Even the place that we are coming from, we are coming from, it is a little bit far from. So we have to buy motorbike before coming to school. Clap for her! Christopher and Joseph are part of the first batch of students from Achia Klobo MA Basic School to take part in the Basic Education Certificate Examination. They are optimistic and determined to achieve good results for the school to make the community proud. We want to become something or someone very important in future. As for me, like, as for me particularly, I want to become a soldier. My name is Joseph and I also start this school from kindergarten. We are the first batch of the school. So our will is we will pass, we will pass and become something worthwhile in future. They also share their concern about the plight of the school, especially the school feeding program. Two class used to be in one room learning. That is very confusing. The feeding is solely for the primaries. 
atteint son il y en a avec mané damis ya yo quand tu des go empty stomach and go home again like that the keteke gana train made their next stop at akachia wopo basic school mr innocent nyamiche dumiga an opinion leader of the community welcomed the volunteers and assured them of the community's cooperation it was very appalling to see class 1 people learning under a construction made of coconut branches they just go and sit with uh, the other classrooms okay. which are so a bit safe and hot days like this some snakes even drop on their desk mm. and they run away from the class we don't have proper lighting system sometimes you come to school you realize that even these uh, beds they will come and sit in the classroom which you have to ask students to scrap and this delay us so if maybe uh, people will come on board and assist us especially maybe to electrify the whole class or then maybe in the night the light will be on to scare those beds the performance here for JHS is not encouraging because of uh, those materials which are lacking in the school. They learn in abstract during examinations when they can't recall it, they can't even write. Since the inception of this GHS here, we've not seen a computer before. Sometimes the IC teacher have to go and borrow or maybe you have to bring personal mouse from the house to demonstrate to people that this is mouse, this is keyboard and a whole lot. So we need computer. Because of a lack of a library, we just be listening to the teachers in the classroom. After that, no reading. We don't have accommodation here for staff. Me per se, I have to come from Afyaranyiba. Yeah, that's about three kilometers. On Thursday, Keteke Ghana, with the help of the Ketu South Municipal Hospital, organized a health education and screening in Achiaklopo. People of the community and people of the school patronized the activities. The health officials checked people's blood pressure, HIV status, body mass index, and also distributed free condoms to interested persons above 18 years. Some of the beneficiaries were the volunteers themselves. Their status will be known, and then the possible um, solution or whatever we need to do to help the people. Yeah, because this, through this, a lot of things can be disclosed. Someone could be HIV positive, but we didn't know. Somebody would be obese, but we wouldn't know. So after this exercise, we hope that maybe solutions will be found for some of these problems. Malaria is a problem in our communities here because the ITN or the mosquito nets are not being used. They are not sleeping in the mosquito nets, so it's a general problem. So all the time we have malaria cases shooting up. I knew. I live by my chief dollar local alone. I'm not dollar alone. No club dollar alone. No ha. Can you like na ududa? No club. No dollar alone. Alone. No catch cake. No gino. Can I go na nesio? The journey reached its climax on Friday when they went to the various schools to donate various items, thousands of exercise books, clothing, and other educational materials were donated to the two schools on behalf of the club by the president, Mr. David Peku Eshen. The community members and people benefited from the donation. They showed much appreciation and commended the club on their act of benevolence. On behalf of KTK Ghana, we present these books to Achia Kobo ME Primary School. Uh, first of all, I congratulate you for carrying out this activity. 
is very good and I think it will help the students. Uh, the books that you provide, the pencils, the erasers and the, uh, and the rest, I think it will help me, the teachers, to, to carry out our exercises and then our activities, I mean the, the learning process. <laughs> should have at least two or three of such groups coming to our area regularly. I think a lot of things will change. People's perception will change and then uh, a lot of things will go on well. Those who are allies, that the parents have some, you know, small money, they do send their children to the bigger town to go and school. Why? Because we don't have the facilities here. Some of the classes, KG 1 and 2 are combined in one class, class 4 and 5 are combined in one class and then uh, other class, three classes. Uh, six classes are attending classes in three classrooms. So it's a major problem. If the world is hearing us today, we need classroom facilities. If they can come into our age, we will love it. So on behalf of KTK Ghana, myself and my entire team, we present you these exercise books and pencils. And we hope the next time we come here, you guys are going to make good use of it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Okay. Since I became the assemblyman of this school, I've never seen this type of donation before. In fact, since this school was established, there was nothing like NGO coming to visit this community. This is the first of it. People are suffering, really. The women are suffering. You see them carry their babies. Sometimes, as an assemblyman, you see somebody who carry a baby to my house and say the baby is sick. In fact, there is nothing like work to do here. We are most grateful to KTK Ghana team for what they have done for us today. The school is lacking with so many other things. The KG block is some kind of structure I haven't seen anywhere. It's nothing to, to talk about at all. The first time in my life I see people showing so much interest in this community. It's something admirable and uh, acceptable for a group of people to show interest in some deprived group of people. I am a I am a the journey to the voter land came to its end after the donation exercise. The participants of the trip had learned a lot from hanging out and interacting with the people of the community. Some of the volunteers shared their experiences about the journey. So far the experience has been good and um, I believe that for whatever reason that we came here, which is to better the life of people in Kleko and Atia Club has been established, I mean it has been accomplished and so for me personally this has been a new place, I've not been to Volta Region before. I was part of the social media committee where we update the progress of the group on our social media networks and try to get people's attention to the kind of work we are doing here. So it has been basically all humanitarian and that is why we are here. But it's not a fun trip. Not everyone has the time to go and search for deprived communities and put things together to donate to them. I pray and hope that they get a lot of support from individuals, corporate bodies and the government. I was part of the video group. We have to go around taking videos, uh, interview um, uh, uh, important people that are very relevant to this project. And then it's, it's, it's also fun to be part of KTK for the, uh, for the past three years now. But I think the trip has been very fruitful. We came here for a purpose and then we were able to achieve it. I was part of the teaching and counseling team. We were able to 
talk and interact with the children. Um, there was one particular issue and problem in the schools we visited. Um, their, their, their communicating skills was really bad. So we had to spend more time with the children, teach them certain pertinent stuff, talk to them in a way that they will be able to understand. I think the, the people were receptive of us. Uh, we had a chance to talk and interact with the people there and find out some things that they were going through, especially the students and everything. We were able to do our donations and we were able to meet the town people and everything. I think they loved our coming here and they appreciated us a lot and I think it was a great mission. Knowing that I am part of a group that embarked on a worthy course as far as some people's education is concerned and to their success, I feel so fulfilled and so proud of myself. After one week of activism, the volunteers left the Volta region, carrying with them the memory and joy of an immeasurable experience, looking forward to their next trip. It is their hope that people in authority shall look beyond the cities and reach out to communities such as Achia Klobo and Akachavopo in order to improve their livelihood. Yamoyamura ye, ebe ya ifi enara.